All right, roll call. Lawmakers in Raleigh are inviting Mickey Mouse to the Tar Heel State. Well, not Mickey particularly, but the entire Walt Disney Company. Our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, says this is a part of a push to capitalize on the issues Disney is having in Florida and bring more business to North Carolina. With tension between Walt Disney World and Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis amping up, senators from North Carolina are making a statement with the new bill. They're encouraging Disney to move up north with the promise of what they call no culture wars. Senate Bill 594, also known as Mickey's Freedom Restoration Act, would establish a study commission to develop a plan to attract family amusement parks to the state, not just Disney alone. Though the dynamics between the Walt Disney Company and DeSantis definitely sparked the idea for the bill. Um, I just thought it was time for North Carolina to remind people of our um, egregious misstep with HB2 and the economic consequences of that and uh, maybe try to recruit some of those businesses in Florida that want to get out uh, from under the, the hostile administration uh, that they have down there. Democratic Senator Michael Garrett is the main sponsor of the bill, and he seeks $750,000 to explore the idea of getting Disney and other theme parks to move to North Carolina. The study commission would explore a variety of aspects that would come along with the parks getting established in the Tar Heel State, the location being one of the number one priorities. Garrett hopes the economic benefits for the state outweigh the bill's job at DeSantis for Republicans to get on board. So, uh, whether you're Republican or whether you're Democrat, um, economic development is a top priority for North Carolina. Uh, I have had a couple uh, conversations with some colleagues, and once they're done chuckling at the title of the bill, they said, you know, I remember when Florida was poaching some of our businesses, so maybe it's our turn. But Republican Representative Jeff McNeely doesn't see eye to eye with Garrett on this one. McNeely thinks this bill is more of a statement rather than an actual push for policy. This is great for press conferences, uh, press releases and social media. Uh, without having the, since we have the supermajority in both houses, uh, there's not a whole lot they can do without our help. It, it, this is more about uh, playing to their fan base and, and, you know, just making statements, but using the taxpayer dollars to do it. Mickey's Freedom Restoration Act passed its first reading and has now been referred to the Committee on Rules and Operations. Yet without a large majority of Republican support, it's unlikely it'll make it through the Senate. But as always, we'll keep you updated. Emma Withrow, Queen City News.